Hi, this is IT. How can I help you? Uh, I am struggling. I switched from an iPad to a, a PC back to a Mac, and I've lost all my files. All my documents are gone, all my pictures of my horse, my manifesto on the dark truths about oat milk. Everything has been wiped from my computer, and I have no idea what to do. I need your help. Oh, well, thank you so much for calling. First and foremost, before we uh, dive into the... Uh to the actual root of your issue, I do think it's important that I point out, are you actually sure that this happened? I am sure. My computer is a blank screen. All it is is just the background of a green field and uh, the thing spinning on it, just nothing. I don't see any of my files. Totally, and, and thank you very much for saying that. I, I, I think, uh, uh, thank you for pointing out the the error that you're seeing. But to be honest, I, I, I think you're acting a little crazy right now. I don't think this is an issue that actually happens with our platforms. Uh, so that's why I ask, are you sure if this is happening? Because this doesn't sound like something we would do. Okay, listen here, Geek Squad. Don't gaslight me, all right? My files are gone. The platform is gone. My manifesto on oat milk, which was my most important work, is nowhere to be found. I can't just restart that. I've been working on this for the last five years since oat milk has been popular and I don't know how I'm going to get this back. Every, the, this is what the world needs to hear and if I can't find it, what am I going to do? I, 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 first off, I want to assure you that I am here to do nothing but uh, help you and help alleviate the stress that you're feeling right now. I know this is a very stressful situation and, and it's definitely very frustrating for sure. Uh, and I am so, so sorry, but I just, I just want you to know that I'm here to help you, not gaslight you. Uh, so, it's just like I feel like we need to take a step back and dial back the animosity that's going on right now because I'm being accused of things that uh, at the end of the day, like you're the one who bought this product. So I don't know why you're getting angry at me for decisions that you made when I'm just here to help you. Well, I feel like this wasn't a decision I made. I feel like the tech lords in charge didn't want the truth to get out. And I feel like you guys probably put some sort of bug in my computer that um, deleted this because you knew the truth and y'all were afraid of the truth. See, so, word, words like that really hurt because we actually, all of our machines totally got tested before they met you. Um, and we don't know why you're not believing that. So it, that bug, if there is, I'm saying if there is a bug, you know, the, the jury is not out yet. But if there mm -hmm. is a bug, I'm just saying it didn't come from us. Um, I don't believe that because I know what y'all are up to. You can't hide the truth. Um, there is definitely, definitely something that y'all must have put on my computer because there's no other way this would have gotten deleted. I was transferred from my iPad to a PC back to a mic, Mac, and I don't see how that could have gotten deleted any other way. If I'm just plugging it in, everything should go smoothly, but I know there is some things, you guys have these privacy issues and all this stuff. I don't really know what's going on on the other side. I feel like maybe y'all wanted the pictures of my horse for yourself because it's a beautiful horse. And I know, you know, she's one of a kind. And someone on your team is probably jerking it to my horse right now on the other side of this call. Uh, so uh, I totally understand where you're coming from in your thought process and I want once again, I just want to say thank you very much for calling. And, you know, here at Greek Geek Squad, we're just here to try to help. But one thing I do want to point out, like, I don't want to be that person, but you are talking about how you transferred these files a lot. And, I mean, to my understanding, I know we never talked about it. We never had a formal conversation, but I just thought we weren't transferring at all. We were kind of keeping this on a one platform basis, pretty exclusive. And, you know, I just want to say, like, I'm not trying to point fingers and, you know, you're entitled to do whatever you want. We never talked about exclusivity of what kind of platform and what devices you were going to use. But if you're transferring that much, like I, I just like I, I'm, I'm not saying it's your fault at all in any way, shape or form. I, I think I, you know, I, I feel for you. Like I honestly like I'm on, like I know you're frustrated, but even I'm I'm more frustrated that this is affecting you, which is inherently affecting me. Like this is affecting the both of us. And I think 
I un this is so upsetting. Like I'm upset. Like I'm upset that this happened. And you know, like I don't. I'm going through a lot right now. Like just being in the text, you know, being IT. There's so much I have to go through. So like, it's actually really insensitive that you brought this to me, not taking in consideration how this affects me. But you know what? It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's uh, you know, it's not a here nor there. Once again, I will have to pick up the pieces for myself. But I do want to point out that you are transferring a lot, and I'm not trying to say this is your fault, but I, I think it's just, you know, it's just if it walks like a duck and it talks like a duck, you know? And I, I also think it's important to point out as well is that I, uh, I think overall, maybe you need to look into the computer yourself and evaluate yourself of like, am I even capable of operating a computer right now because it just feels like you're projecting a lot of issues on this geek squad and who we are as people when we've been nothing but fantastic to you and i i don't understand why our character is being questioned when we're just all we're here to do is help and honestly you're lucky you're lucky that our geek squads is here to help because not everyone out there is willing to help in the way that we are and i just think you know, actually, you're kind of ungrateful right now. And I think you should really change your mindset to appreciate how much value we bring into your life. Every time I call Geek Squad, I expect that y'all cry with me for my loss and for my issues, because that's what y'all are there to do. You're there to be support. You're IT support, not IT, not support, you know? So if I'm crying, I feel like you're crying. And that's the way it should be when I call. I'm not making any assumptions about the people on the other side. All I know is that I have a beautiful horse and that beautiful horse's pictures are now gone off my computer. And I think that someone must have stole those photos and stole my manifesto because there's no other way that these would disappear. It's 2023, I should be able to transfer files from an iPad to my asshole, back out of my asshole to another computer because that's the age of technology that we're in right now. And I know you're going through a lot and we're all going through a lot, but you know, this is a post-COVID world. There's no, we're going through things every single day. And when I call IT, I expect, I expect nothing but support and no assumptions about whether or not I can use a computer or not. Because you know what? I've been using a computer since I came out of the womb. And I never had any of my files ever lost until now. And I think that's the geek squad. I think y'all are up to something. I think y'all steal people's files for your own pleasure and for your own good. And I think... I shouldn't have kept it. Maybe I should have kept it on a single platform, but we're in a multi-platform age, baby. And I can't, I can't be, I can't be confined to one platform. I, and listen, I, I, I want you to know here at Geek Squad, we firmly believe in uh, uplifting and empowering people to use whatever platforms that they want and as many platforms as they want. What we just don't appreciate is that when we come into this agreement that you're going to be using this one platform for a specific purpose and then you just end up doing whatever you want without really letting me know like i understand that's a conversation we could have had already and that that is also sure some people might say that like i could have brought up that conversation i could have asked you to do that but i think it's just rude of me or uh, like it's like rude to expect me to take that initiative when at the end of the day i'm here to serve rather than like i can't think i can't think what you're thinking i can't read your mind and also i think it's i think it's just you know that i've had previous clients that have really just come to me with these accusations of, of what i'm trying to do and how i'm not actually helping and like i really like i open up to you like i don't open up to other people like that and i just think the fact that like you did that it's like really like tearing open some old wounds that I thought I really healed from, from the therapeutic training that I did like three times, four years ago. And, you know, like I, I did it three times and I'm like, I'm cured. Like I already did all my growth. I don't understand why everyone wants me to keep reading these training books that, you know, help me become a better person. But, uh, you know, I did the three sessions and I think that's good enough. So I just, I, but you know, because I'm a good person, because I'm the better person here, uh, I am going to put how I feel, my feelings aside once again to you know tackle this issue for you so yes your data has disappeared i think i think what we can do to approach this situation is you know it's it's 
it's whatever. You know, I'll just I'll just look through. I'll look past it. It's fine. Um, you know, it's just maybe just maybe in the future you owe me. But um, you know, well, we can. Cons- like, are you a user of the cloud? Like, do you have anything saved in the cloud? The cloud. The cloud is for pussies, okay? I'm a local save only. I locally save because I'm a local person and that's where I keep my files. And I don't think those three trainings were enough. I think y'all need at minimum four trainings. If I wanted this level of insensitivity, I would have called the suicide hotline for these files back. But I called the Geek Squad because I was looking for real support in real time. Oh, well, first thing, uh, I do want to mention that depending on what time you call, that's actually my second job. So uh, that'll actually be kind of great that we can follow up with our conversation from there because I do have some notes. But, uh, you know, at at this moment, I know that your computer issue is what's the most important right now. Uh, So it sounds like, once again, I don't mean to just sound like a broken record the fact that you're not using the cloud which we do offer the cloud services like we 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 texted you that a while ago um and i think maybe you just didn't read my text messages or whatever and i don't know it's just we sent that to you that there's a cloud and you decided to not use it so once again like i'm not saying it's your fault but you know like that this all could have been avoided through that. So like, did you have like a floppy disk or a memory stick that you decided to use to save these Uh, files? Don't come at me with the floppy disk, memory disk, whatever. I think it should have all just transferred over. And also if I had the time to text back every member of the Geek Squad that was texting me, I'd be swimming in dicks right now, okay? And I don't, I don't have the time. I'm here right now. I'm trying to get my manifesto back. I'm trying to get my pictures of my horses back and cloud fuck the cloud it should have just transferred over it should have just jumped from one place to the other i don't see any problem with that i i say this because you're a dear customer and i really do care i i do care about you i do like i really do like i understand that uh you know we don't really know each other for that long but i just i i feel so strongly about you so quickly like i honestly didn't think it would be possible to feel this strongly about someone so quickly and it's just like like i like i honestly i hope i get to continue to be your geek squad representative because i just feel like just the bond that we have is so strong and it's like unlike anything else like it's just it's just like honestly i think you shouldn't see any other geek squad representatives you should only see me because i feel like we're really meant for each other so i say Mm -hmm. this because i really deeply care about you and all that but like i feel like it would be best for you if you just let this manifesto thing go like you tried it didn't pan out it's time to hang it up like i understand this is your dream like don't get me wrong like i love your dreams like i'm such a supporter of your dreams like i believe in your dreams but i also think at the same time like you're not really going anywhere with these manifestos like it's not getting a lot of view counts like yeah i looked into it because you know i care about you but I just don't think this manifesto is going to is going to get you anywhere. And I think it's important that, you know, maybe you just maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Like you maybe you're supposed to like your stuff got deleted because you're not meant to do manifestoing. Like, I know that's hard to hear. And if that hurts to hear, like you also have been a very like overly sensitive person. And, And I think you don't handle taking, you know, like jokes well or you just take things too seriously you know and i say these things because i care about you and i want you to grow and it's your fault if you get really emotional from it but like i think that's just the truth that these manifestos are not going anywhere and that's really the real reason why it got deleted (laughs) i've never had someone be so honest with me about my work it's just really taking me to a new place I just don't think I've ever been seen in such a way before. You know, know? what would you do without me? I don't know. I'll be calling back when you're at your second job. I feel like we have so much more to unpack. Nobody's been this honest with me except for my horse and you now, Geek Squad agent. I'm moved. (laughs) Thank you. I think you've solved my issues. You're welcome. I'm so glad that I could help. 
thank you very much for calling Geek Squad today. I hope we were we were able to solve your issue. Um, I mean, once again, your issue. We did nothing wrong, but uh, I'm just glad. I'm just glad I could I could help and be what I always am, which is a bright light in your life. Oh. Namaste, brother. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> Namaste. Oh shit. Yeah, there's a lot to unpack here. Um <laughs> I think I read out the paper. Um I I I don't usually have to take notes uh for uh okay, hold on a second. Okay. Okay. I immediately knew who it was. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. This is yeah. That's fine. I, I I knew that might happen, and that's okay. So so uh, I was like, oh you wanna, shit. Oh, you want to like on the kind of three? Yeah. One, two, two, three. What's good, Alyssa? Hey, Chris. Oh shit! Hold on. Uh, I okay, oh, hold on. Shit. Let me on. The, there we go. Okay. What's up? Right. Good to All see right, you. Let me, join, let me join the party. Yeah, there we go. Yes. We got the video. Nice. Yeah. See, yeah. I knew. <laughs> so I knew this was gonna be good. Perfect. Uh, yeah. It was like. Gaslighting no, is a lot easier than I thought it would be. I know, oh, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I really making is... me question, like, yo, why was this? Why was I able to do this so well? <laughs> <laughs> Chris, this is good. I mean, I'm, I'm I just want to say, yeah, you as a tech agent, uh, very soothing, uh, very soothing individual, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I, I feel. I feel like you you know how to do this job and you might have yeah I do have some notes though of course and uh yeah but um and yeah Alyssa yeah I have notes for you but um how how did it felt both of you uh, Alyssa how did it felt you started off with the problem uh I mean yeah the pictures of your horses but um I mean there was a lot of info about the manifesto I I just want you know uh it, it did not really need to be like uh you know said because yeah um that's the perfect time chris for you to call the feds uh you yeah know, the <laughs> it desk uh yeah this is very there's a lot of conspiracies uh yeah yeah i believe it was hinted or i i think it was been said um uh, i love that yeah the manifesto sorry <laughs> yeah that multi was... you love multi uh, multi-platform you're just like oh yeah yeah i want to yeah i want to give a look you have like different brands of hard drives that's like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah i was just throwing out everything <laughs> when you said uh i don't believe in the cloud i only save locally i just thought like it was my barber on this zoom that yeah. just sounds like some <laughs> conspiracy shit he would say right oh my <laughs> gosh yeah, yeah yeah and i think it was yeah something about like oat uh, yeah oat, um, oat milk right like how yeah okay the dark truths about oat milk nice nice yeah there you go yeah. so Listen, yeah, that's so that, the real reason why I decided to gaslight because I'm not gonna let I'm not gonna let you ruin the empire, the great empire that is the oat milk empire. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> no, they need to be preserved at all costs. I don't care what's in those things. Protect oat milk. Because <laughs> if we don't have oat milk, what are, what are we gonna use? Almond. Almond no. is come on. Oh, Almond's man. that nice guy from your college who you marry because you're just like he's nice. <laughs> yeah he looks good on paper but he doesn't do he doesn't like put it down in the bedroom you yeah, know what i mean no <laughs> and, like, don't get me wrong he tries he tries yeah. right but yeah. it's just you're just like no like i don't he has like, a good linkedin profile yeah yeah he has a good linkedin exactly. profile he's good he I and mean, like loves me the way i want to be loved and all that but like yeah, I mean, sure, some people might say that maybe I just haven't healed enough to actually appreciate a healthy relationship, but why are you think why are you turning this on me when it's almond milk's fault? Exactly. And I feel like oat milk is the type the you sleep with one night and you're obsessed and then you never see him again, but you're always chasing that high, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you never find anybody to replace him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're spinning some truths right now. Okay. Right. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I don't even know if I could put this out like that. You know, hold it. <laughs> I'm gonna take it down. Hey, but yeah, Chris. Uh, yeah, as a tech agent, uh, yeah, let me tell you yeah, again. Very soothing. You, yeah, very informative. Um, some might say uh, a bit too informative. Uh, yeah. there were things that were brought up uh, that, like you know, you, you yeah, you brought in a lot. 
and um mm-hmm. and the thing is yeah there's a lot of uh, i think it's therapeutic trainings uh that you brought up yeah and See, i was just like that's the strategy you just throw uh-huh. so many darts at the board that they forget what they even were talking about oh yeah, yeah i i didn't forget i was yeah like i said i was taking <laughs> notes and um i was just like <laughs> I was like, okay, and and something about like uh, they were forcing books on you and stuff like that. I was just like, mm, doesn't sound like they were forcing books. Is, yeah, but um, I I see what you're throwing out there. You were trying to you know connect. You know, you're trying to you know some empathy, and um, mm-hmm. I see what you're trying to yeah because you wanted to talk. Um, oh yeah, my favorite thing is that you said that. Um, oh, um, you don't have time to hear about my feelings, but like you already did talk about it. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, all right, um, yeah, and that's fine. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I would um, and out throughout this call, I want to say my favorite line. Um, Alyssa, you said, uh, yeah, clouds are for pussies. Yeah, that was <laughs> my favorite. Um, I was trying to yeah. really like embody that like boomer tech yeah. mentality. You know what I mean? Like, right, right, yeah, yeah. The yeah. cloud is for pussies. Is right, the... but multi <laughs> don't make that merch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah <laughs> i just i just like yeah it's multi-platform but local you know just local mm-hmm. hard drives yeah and i love chris you were just like the usb drives you got any of those yeah we're you trying said to... the floppy disk when you said floppy yeah. disk i almost mm-hmm. lost it so hard on the other side i was like <laughs> floppy disk her kids haven't even heard of that before <laughs> i think the fact that i said floppy first like it was even like <laughs> yeah external hard drive or memory stick which even memory stick is now be like a thing yeah. that people don't really know but the fact that it's making me feel disc. things yeah I, I wish yeah i um yeah you brought up some stuff like especially yeah childhood stuff that <laughs> i'm just like oh i remember playing like oregon trail like the 2d version you know like right <laughs> Um, yeah um but anyways yeah uh great call like again uh, i love the back and forth uh i i felt that we we're able to get to a conclusion and yeah uh, sometimes you know manifestos yeah it's um you know it's it's a bit time consuming i would say you know maybe go on reddit uh maybe make a subreddit <laughs> <laughs> make a community let people create a community manifesto so you don't have to do it yourself but and then you said you don't like clouds oh look at that um well exactly. maybe maybe have like a land party or so you know mm. like um uh, mm. you know have you know yeah and have people bring in you know uh and no one's connected to the internet you know everything's on foil paper in the room and <laughs> yes mm. exactly. your manifesto mm. and you know you're in the lab testing like the oat milk like yes yes <laughs> and look at my horses look at my horses like i have posters right. yeah go to fedex <laughs> print them out so i'm just helping out here but um no again uh great job chris great job Alyssa. thank you, thank you. Yes. um and um i felt yeah we yeah that was progress um good job I- I was trying to think of like what's the weirdest thing that you can like lose on a computer that you'd be fucked up about, you know? Oh. So <laughs> I don't know where because hor- oh, yeah. horse assholes, that's something of like it's one thing like, oh, my nudes are out there, but it's just like, hey, uh I got some pictures of some animals that I need to make sure ain't just exactly. blowing out there. <laughs> oh, what's the pictures of? Ah, uh, you know, we don't need to get into specifics, but you know, just some pictures. How do I get it back? right yep, yep. <laughs> i would yep. be like what does your horse look like that you need to have all those pictures of your horse on there you know? yeah i want to know what, what if, type of horses you uh, yeah i, I want to know yeah what, <laughs> what if it yeah, got lost and it's like when you lose your card at a bar and it's just like hey i think i left my credit card and it's just like hey can you like i like describe what it looks like so i know it's yours <laughs> it's just like hey there might be a picture of a horse's asshole that you found like oh can you describe it i just need to make sure that this is actually your picture right I love yeah. that it's turned into a picture of a horse's asshole. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I thought it was, I guess. Okay. All right. <laughs> I yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. So yeah, that's what I was wondering. Okay. Yeah. That's what yeah. I, that's what I thought, but I guess my brain, my brain added an element that I right. guess, I guess we well, zeroed think, in on that. Right. I did accuse you of jerking it to the picture of my horse. So maybe that's, oh, what, it that's what it, yeah, that's oh. what, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. At one point in the call, oh <laughs> I love God. how you, you completely brushed over it too. And we're just like, let me continue to gaslight you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I was gonna talk about that, but yeah. Oh man. Um yeah, there was a yeah, that was a lot. Um I love Listen, it. you don't um, have to worry about looking guilty yeah. if you never even answered a question in the first place. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Exactly. Well, I have a question for both of you. Ever had uh, a time uh, uh, or if you uh, maybe from the tech person uh, perspective or the customer, like uh, someone was like so informative, yeah, especially yeah, if they were trying to help you or the customer was just too informative, um, especially away from the problem. And uh, like, yeah, Alyssa, what do you think? I don't know if I've had someone who was too informative, but it made me uh, think of this one time that I called I, uh, IT and I couldn't get into my Mac or something. And the problem was like literally so simple to fix. It took like maybe it was like a less than a minute IT call. And I felt dumb as hell. She was like, you oh, have to man. take these two steps. Even at the end of the call, I was like, oh my, I said, oh my God. And she started laughing at me because <laughs> that was like such a simple thing to fix. Oh, um, and I was like, thank you for this information. I'm yeah. so sorry I called you today. Damn. I, I think, I think for me, I mm. usually I hate calling IT and support lines. I hate it so much. So like by the time I've called, I have tried everything. I have Googled everything. I have tried everything I could on my own. So mm. like the IT thing is like the last resort. Right. Um, so like at that point, I would say for me, they obviously as an IT person have to go through the obvious fixes first. And right. I am very impatient at that <laughs> point that I'm reaching out and I'm just like, fucking already did that. already did that. And I want to say there was one time where they were like, All right, like, Oh, did you try doing this? I'm like, I already fucking did that. And like, you know what? Fine. I'll even redo it right now just to show you that I've tried everything. <laughs> and then I was just like, Oh shit! No. Oh wait. Yeah, that fixed it. <laughs> oh, uh, my bad. Yo, <laughs> yo I, I just want to say. Can I just do, can I say something though? Like I love it when um I don't know uh I mean when I work inside the company uh it's a it's such a gratifying feeling where you know I have to uh you know this pushback and even though this mm -hmm. pushback i'm you know i'm resent uh, yeah i'm just gonna keep trying you know i'm rel relentless to right. like just do my job and not mm -hmm. only that but oh man if i overcome this hurdle of you know just making sure you know hey you keep yeah you're forgetting this step let me show you like i'll pick out the screenshot i one time recorded like a quick time like a quick uh screen capture recording and i got like, ah, you know moving about ah 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 that's what we needed to do right there. I'm all it's like, yeah, we need to do that. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, that's that the oh and, sorry. Oh, go I ahead. think oh I was I just want to say goosebumps. Oh, oh, goosebumps. I tell you, that's that's the shit where like you're about to order lunch and you're just like, you know what? I'm adding a milkshake to that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, because it's a good day. <laughs> I it's yeah. that's yeah. that's the tech support version of like uh, when someone emails you, like you never said that, and it's just like, uh, per my attached like, email. Yes, exactly. Mm. I yeah, have yeah. already told you this, bitch. Uh, <laughs> so fucking re learn how to read next time. Right, right. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, and, and and that's the thing too. Oh, and, and Alyssa, like when you were saying about like, uh, yeah, it would be like a quick call, call because you know the problem is like a quick, uh, quick solution, but. IT, yeah, love those kind of calls because, you know, that's the time I'm using, you know, to go through my shift. And I'm just like, hey, yeah, I thank you for your call. Yeah, that's fine. I helped you out. But you're helping me out, you know, using this time where I'm not like thinking, oh, I need to work on something and all that. Or I'm not dealing with, you know, um, you know, someone I have to fight the problem with. So that's a thing. So, yeah. Right. Thank you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, I always try to be nice when I call the IT person. Mm -hmm. Right, right. Because I'm always like, I don't know what they have access to. And I also just feel so, I feel bad because I know everybody must have a horrible attitude when they get on the phone with IT. So I, oh. I feel terrible really? because like, I'm never mad at the IT person. What mm -hmm. makes me angry is like, obviously the issue and the fact that I couldn't solve it myself. But then what makes me angry is the amount of 
like robo options I've had to get through to then right. get to the IT person. Mm. Like that, it's the whole menu, and you have to say something, and they never like it never registers oh, or it's the, the wrong script. thing. Yeah, yeah, like that oh. process frustrates me so much that I feel bad that by the time I actually get to an IT person, I am already livid. And I know like I uh -oh. can't be angry at this person. They've it's literally not it's not their fault. They have nothing mm -hmm. to do with the fact that there's a robot menu script that I have to Empathy. go through and they're they're yelled at all day. I don't want to be another like I remember one time I had an issue with my Mac and I went to the Apple store. And it was like I called, I did Apple chat, like no one was able to help me, all of this shit. And then when I finally got to the Apple support, the genius bar, I told the like when someone was finally able to help, the dude came up to me and I was like, look, before I even go into my issue, I'm going to let you know now, I'm pissed. <laughs> I am fucking enraged right now. Yeah, I know, that? I uh -huh. know this is not your fault. I know you have nothing to do with my issue. And mm -hmm. I know that you like what you're probably like what you told me and all that. That's not your fault. That's not your choosing. This is your company that you work for. Or actually, now to think about it, at that point, I was so pissed. I was like, I know this is not your fault. I know this is your fucking stupid company's policies and shit that decided to do this because they're fucking idiots and they think this is a good idea. I know it's not your fault. You're a good person, but the company mm -hmm. you work for, I honestly hope burns to the ground, but you as a person, <laughs> I think is fine. Like I was Ooh. saying that and the person's like, okay. Um, I love my job. How dare you? No, like Thank you. I appreciate you understanding. So I told him, right. I'm like, look, I'm going to do my best to not be short with you, but mm -hmm. I figured it's important that I let you know that I am so pissed off right now. So if I'm short with you, I am so sorry. It's nothing personal. I know you I know you go through this and I don't want to be that person. The person was like, I actually honestly appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. And and you see that transcending like when you were the tech agent, you know, because yeah, yeah you had that uh uh that sincere, genuine you know uh acknowledgement of you know what the other person is going through and that's the good awareness mm -hmm. that's why i like yeah with it and and i'm happy that i was able to uh do you go back into the career of doing it work mm -hmm. uh because you know it was child care or like youth work and then um it was like a emerges like computer teacher and like a hybrid like that and then it mm -hmm. just went into it just like that's like boom and right there if, yo like all that knowledge like working with kids is just it's gonna help me with it there's that you know yeah it's, I have to teach empathy. You know? and, and I you mean, a kid it, and an and angry and adult are just the same. The only difference is an angry adult has a better reading level. Well, that, but also like the, you know, things have developed, you know, the brain to just, you know, you know what I mean? Come on. Right. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. So it's just, you won't be too surprised to, you know, how they're acting you know, mm -hmm. and see the reason why sometimes, but yeah. Um, uh, yeah, I, I enjoyed it. And you know what? Uh, should I go back to it? I'm okay now. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, um, now that we have yeah. AI, we'll see if uh, IT work is still needed. But anyways, again, thank you all um, for being on the show. But before we go, do you have anything um, you'd like to plug? Uh, oh, let's see. You want to go first? Oh, yeah. Um, You go first. Uh. You can follow me at Topher Mejia on Twitter and Twitch. And then you can follow me on Instagram at Chris Mejia Comedy. Uh, C-H-R-I-S-M-E-J-I-A. And then Topher is T-O-P-H-E-R-M-E-J-I-A. Uh, on Chris Mejia Comedy on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, on March 3rd, uh, I will be at the Hereafter for Dishoom Dishoom, which is basically a show where... Uh, Milan Patel and um, um, Naraj uh, watch a Bollywood action movie and we just uh, make uh, we just make jokes during it and that's going to be a lot of fun March 2nd at the hereafter also if you live in the Seattle area come to the show I co-produce called Good Comedy uh, with the homie Bo Johnson uh, where during the winter we're at the hereafter and it's the third Sunday so the next show would be March 19th 
would be the show. Oh, and also I'll be at Tree Fort Music Festival. So come see me at oh. Tree Fort. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah. that's it for me. Yo, yeah. hell yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, I thanks. actually, what? sorry, sorry. One last plug. Uh, uh, I it, will actually be in Portland. I will be <gasps> featuring for, for the homie Bo Johnson on March 30th at Helium. Uh, yes. And then I'll be staying that weekend to do other shows and shit, which that will, those details will come later. But yeah, if you follow me online, I'll post about that. Look at us. Cool. Look at us Pacific <laughs> Northwest folks doing, doing things. And I love that. Yeah. Um, I was in Seattle for a bit and then you come in here, you know, that's, that's yeah. That's yeah, great. man, I'm yeah. following you, bro. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, Awesome. GPS track your ass if you... okay. No, yeah. <laughs> put a All tracking right. device. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's following he's so me. <laughs> he's, um... he's on the same M track train. Oh yeah, Alyssa. Yeah. Uh, what about you? <laughs> um. Yeah. So you can follow me on IG and Twitter at Alyssa Yo, which is A L Y S S A Y E O. You can follow me on TikTok at Alyssa Yeoman. A L Y S S A Y E O M A N dot T V on TikTok. And you can check out my blog um, on Substack called No Small Talk. New posts come out every other Friday ish, depending on timing. Um, but it's always a fun read. And you can check me out live um, coming up on March 10th. I'm opening for Lori Kill Martin at Hereafter. Oh, hell so yeah. oh, 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 oh. that will be a good show to be at if you're in the Seattle area. And then otherwise, just follow me online and I always update my calendar, my schedule, and um, got plenty of shows coming up in March that will be worthwhile to see. If I'm not booked yeah. that night, I'll come through to hang out. Oh, yes, you should. Nice. Oh, yeah, March yeah. 10th. Yeah, I'll come wait, through. That, that's wait, March 10th? Yeah. March 10th. I'm, okay, let's see if I, um, am I in, I think I'll be in that area um i know i'm doing a show uh wait a second oh no darn i'm yeah i'm doing a club seattle uh, i was um gonna be on uh timmy booth's show that he's headlining on the ninth wow oh, club nice. seattle. look at that yeah yeah i'm it. gonna put I'll, I'll put that in yeah you put, yeah timmy booth dear friend of mine and i'm really happy yeah i'll be there and um yeah it's a really honor to yeah to be up there and support him and yeah I'll, yeah it's gonna be a great night oh man yeah, uh, yeah, love Seattle. I always finish the night with um eating like a Dick's uh was a cheeseburger and they have the milkshake. Ooh, I go there, yeah. so good right now. Sorry, yeah, I'm sorry. It's yeah, but anyways, yeah, true. yeah. Thank you, and oh yeah, Alyssa, great job. The don't tell. Uh, yeah, I saw the don't tell set. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, yeah. check out my don't was, tell set on YouTube. Yeah. yeah, I I had to put that out there because yeah, that's Thanks. that's really awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Thanks, it was a I fire it. fire set. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, continue having fun. Keep you know, keep doing a good job, and uh, keep using technology. <laughs> keep understanding technology. Uh, this is just some words yeah. of wisdom. <laughs> right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Because yeah, this concludes the the IT desk. Uh, this has been another episode, and uh, yeah, lots more. So thank you all for tuning in. Thank you, Alyssa. Thank you, Chris. All right. Peace out. Bye.